and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Oh, don't worry. I know who you are, she said. Your reputation precedes you. I looked at this woman who is a parishioner, active parishioner, who I did not know in early June of 2012 before I got here. And I said, is that a good thing or a bad thing? She grinned and walked away. She was being playful. I loved it. But it gave me a reason to stop and think. Each of us has a reputation, don't we? Right? So we could be known as someone who's kind, who's caring, who's compassionate, who's merciful, who's forgiving, who's accepting, who's loving. I can list a bunch of attributes in the positive. Then, of course, there are the, there are the negative attributes. We could be known as someone who's rude, angry, nasty, not nice to be around. I could continue going down, but we'd be here for a very long time. Each of us has a reputation. Each of us in this church this morning. Now, I know we're not supposed to judge people, but sometimes when we make a first impression, it's not always a good first impression. And it takes a, hard, a long time to re return that or to turn it around and make it something positive. Impressions. Reputations. Each of us has them. It defines us. It makes us who we are. Our neighbors know us to be X, Y, or Z. Our coworkers, our family. We are known by people because of our reputation. connection, I think, to today's gospel. Jesus says to the disciples, who do people say that I am? Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he says to them, no, who do you say that I am? We hear Peter's confession, you are the Christ, the Son of God. It makes me think, part of our reputation should be in light of that question. Who do people say we are? First and foremost, we should be identified as a disciple, as a Christian, by the way in which we live, the way in which we treat others, the way in which we make Christ's present known in our community. Isn't that really the goal of Christianity? Okay, so, who do people say you are? 